back to Afternoon on the Amazon, Chapter 4. Millions of them! Jack didn't move. He kept staring down at the forest floor. What's wrong? Annie called from above. Jack didn't answer. You don't see any giant spiders, do you? Annie said. Well, no. Jack took a deep breath. <sighs> we have to keep going, he thought. We have to find the special thing for Morgan. No spiders! Nothing scary here! Jack called, and he started down the ladder again. Jack and Annie climbed through the understory. Finally, they stepped onto the forest floor. Only a few rays of sunlight slanted through the gloom. The trees were very, very tall and very wide. Vines and moss were hanging everywhere. The ground was covered with dead leaves. Before we do anything, Annie, I better check the book. He pulled out the rainforest book, and he found a picture of the dark world under the treetops. He read, In the rainforest, many living creatures blend in with their surroundings. This is called, you guys know it, Camouflage. Oh, man, said Jack. He closed the book and looked around. There's tons of creatures down here. We just can't see them. Really? Whispered Annie. She and Jack peered around at the quiet forest. Everybody show me what that looks like. Jack could feel unseen eyes watching them. That means he couldn't see them, but he knew they were there, and there were millions of little eyeballs staring right at them. Let's hurry and find this special thing, whispered Annie. Well, how will we know if we find it? Jack said. I think we'll just know, said Annie, and she headed off into the gloom. Of course she did. Annie's always walking off into stuff. Jack followed. They crept between the huge trees and past the hanging vines. Annie stopped. Wait! What's that? What's what? Listen! The weird sound! Jack listened. He heard a crackling sound. It sounded like a person walking over the leaves. Jack looked around. He didn't see anyone. But the sound got louder. Was it an animal? A giant bug? One that had never been named? Just then, the silent forest came alive. Birds took off into the air. Frogs hopped over the leaves. Lizards ran up the tree trunks. The weird noise grew louder and louder. Maybe the book explains it, said Jack. So he opened the book. He found a picture of different animals running together. And he read, When animals hear a crackling sound, they flee in panic. The sound means that 30 million flesh-eating army ants are marching through the dead leaves. It's army ants, cried Jack. Millions of them. Where? cried Annie. Jack and Annie looked around wildly. There! Annie pointed. monkeys running, the snakes running, the frogs are running because they hear the sound and Annie's pointing to where she thinks it's coming from. Army ants. 
millions and millions of them were marching over the leaves. Run to the treehouse, cried Annie. Where is it? said Jack, whirling around. All the trees looked the same. Where was the rope ladder? Just run, cried Annie, and Jack and Annie took off. They ran over the dead leaves. They ran between the wide tree trunks. They ran past the hanging vines and mosses. They climbed over thick roots. Jack saw a clearing up ahead. It was filled with sunlight. That way, he cried. Jack and Annie hurried toward the light. They pushed their way through the bushes. They burst out onto the bank of a river. They stared at the slow-moving brown water. Do you think the ants will come this way? Said Annie, panting. Do you remember what panting means? They were running really fast, and now they're going, <sighs> I don't know, said Jack. But if we wade a few feet into the river, we'll be safe. The ants won't go into the water. Come on. Wade means to just walk a little bit until the water is maybe this high up on your ankles. Look, said Annie. She pointed to a big log rocking at the edge of the river. The inside of the log was all dug out. It looks like a canoe, said Jack. He listened to the crackling sound in the distance. Let's get in it. Quick! Jack shoved the book into his backpack, and then he and Annie carefully climbed into the dugout log. Didn't we learn about a dugout log somewhere else? I think we did. Annie leaned out of it. She pushed away from the bank with her hands. Wait, said Jack. We don't have paddles. Oops, said Annie. She had already pushed them off the bank, and the canoe started moving slowly down the muddy river. Oh, that Annie, always getting them into trouble. See you next time.